Hey guys, it's Jordan. I have another one round full face tutorial for you guys, but this time it's drugstore. I am doing it on one of my favorite drugstore brands ever, which is NYX. So I am giving you guys my first impressions and thoughts on these products. Now I did create the look that I'm wearing right now. It's something so different. It's pretty bold as well. I mean, I've even got a pop of color, which is something different for me. So we are switching it up today. But it was so fun to do. Like makeup is just creative. It washes off. You do whatever the hell you want to do. So just before we start this video, if you guys do want to see a little bit more of me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're here. And also while you're at it, hit the little bell as well. And then you guys won't miss out on anything. And if all of this isn't enough and you want to see even more of me. You guys can follow me on all my other social media platforms, so my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. So, without further ado, let's just jump straight into this video. So, I have my brows already filled in, already done, you know the drill. So, I start off using the eyebrow powder pencil in Soft Brown, which has pencil on one end, beauty on the other. I wasn't a fan. Now, the pencil itself really isn't that bad. It's quite creamy. However, because it's creamy, it starts getting blunt super, super quickly, and then I can't create precise lines, and then my eyebrows just started getting messy, and oh, it was kind of a stressful, stressful beginning. So I decided to switch over to their Taming Frame, which is their brow pomade. Now, the consistency of this was a little bit strange. It was quite wet, um, and it's so pigmented, like you need the smallest amount, like hold back with this. I do really like it though. I feel like when it comes to eyebrow products though, you have like one thing that you use and like nothing beats that. But if I did have to recommend one to you guys, I would definitely say the pomade, the pencil. It didn't work for me. Moving on to the skin, I'm going to prime it using the pore filler primer, which says that it can minimize the appearance of pores and it can be worn over, under or without makeup. Over makeup? What? I can actually get it out. Ooh. What the heck? There's like balls of primer everywhere right now. Oh, I'm dropping it. Stick to my face. Oh, that is smooth though. Oh my God, I can't stop tricking my face. It kind of reminds me like a drier version of the Benefit Professional. The consistency is kind of strange, but when you put it into your skin, I'm liking it. If I look at my skin close up, my pores actually look minimized. Now to cake the crap out of my face. I'm using the Stay Matte, but not flat foundation. Oil-free, water-based, full coverage, mineral enriched matte finish. Bing. I'm using the Color Fresh Beige. I am matching it to my neck. I do have a little bit of fake tan left on my face, but it's kind of wearing off, so I'm matching it, matching to my neck. So I've never probably used this foundation, but I've swatched it before, and it does have a nice matte finish, but you guys know I'm about that dewy life. I want to be glowy. So I'm going to mix in some of these. These are their Pro Foundation Mixer. This is the Luminous one. They do have a bunch of different ones. So they have ones that are different like, um, oh my god, what's the word? Mm, oh my god, brain fart. Just to make like a different finish. They also have ones to make your foundation darker, lighter, change the tone. There is loads. And in a few drops of this. A few drops, Jordan. I mean, the whole bottle. <laughs> you know what? That's a pretty dang good colour. If anything, it's probably like a tad bit too yellow, but it's, oh my God, okay, in the camera, I literally look like a Simpson. <laughs> it's okay, we can work with it. Like once I've got concealer and stuff on, you'd never know. Coverage is bomb though. Like I feel like dabbing it into the skin like this really helps to like build up the coverage. Dab. And those drops have really helped to give it a super nice finish. Loving it. Honestly, so far, I am so impressed with this foundation though. Like my skin looks nice. The coverage is really nice. The finish is really nice. Doesn't look cakey, doesn't look heavy. Everything about it, I'm liking. Then my, oh my god. <laughs> the concealer I'm using is the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. It's not really my colour. I mean, it is in porcelain, which is the lightest shade, but we're gonna work with it. I'm just gonna go for like a super highlighted look today. Of course, do the centre of my face to even this out so I don't look crazy. Blend this out with my little baby sponge like look how small he is it's blending out so easily my coverage is nice it's not like the fullest coverage concealer ever but considering how hydrating and nice it looks underneath my eyes it's got decent coverage i am happy with that so to set everything in place i'm going in with this powder now me and this powder a little bit of a love hate relationship going on it is the hd studio photogenic finishing powder which jesus it is a super super finely milled loose powder. Now what I love about this powder is it honestly makes my skin just look so smooth. Like I don't know whether you can tell on camera, but this side of my face is just so 
smoothed out, makes my skin look amazing. However, the flashback that you get from this powder, I'm out. It's such a shame though, because it leaves my skin looking amazing, but if there's like flash photography around me, no way. If you know that you're not going to be around flash photography, definitely give this a go, but if you are, just, just leave it there. I'm going to add the colour back in now, because I'm looking just a little bit like... You know, so I'm using the matte bronzer in the color deep tan. Now I picked this up because it reminded me a lot of my matte give me some, which is like my all time favorite bronzer. So, you know, I snatched that up. That is honestly blending out so nicely. The color is really nice too. It's warm, but I love that in a bronzer. It's not patchy. It's not muddy. It's just everything I would want in a bronzer. Okay, NYX. I don't have a contour from them, so we just have to use the bronzer to try and, like, hide the double chin. <laughs> I could honestly see myself using this on a daily basis. And for that, 10 out of 10. Now for blush. This is the Sweet Cheeks palette. Now, I've used this before, and I have to say, these are amazing. Like, there's every colour in here for every different skin tone. It's fab. I'm using this colour here. These are pigmented, like, you don't need a lot. Says me, who puts like the whole palette on her face. <laughs> I'm not really a blush kind of girl, but I feel like there's a bunch of like neutral colours in here that I could work with, which... Right up my street. Pretty! Let's add the glow. <laughs> For my highlight, NYX have just come out with these duo chromatic illuminating powders. Um, I'm going to take the one called Snow Rose, which basically is on the floor. <laughs> it's just like a white that in the light reflects pink. Now, I never really go for pink highlighters, so... This should be interesting. Oh my god, there's like an actual pink hue to it, but it's nice because when I look forward, it doesn't look like there's just a pink strip on my face. I swear, every single time I put on highlight, it's like I've never used it before in my life. I get that excited. On the nose. You can't forget Keepy. Oh my god, that's so cool. It's like a wearable duochrome. Yes. Also, I just want to mention they have bought out a bunch, like, I mean... A bunch of liquid highlighters they are called oh my god there is like a hair on my face somewhere and it's tickling get off they are called away we glow <laughs> see what you've done there nyx see what you've done so if you're into your liquid highlighters i love these as bases to powders but just wanted to let you know they're there if you're interested we are onto eyes now honestly i've tried a bunch of nyx eyeshadows before they are by far some of the best drugstore eyeshadows out there amazing I rate them but i've not tried these now i think these are pretty new i got these when i went to the nyx store opening the other day and holy crap look at them they are called the perfect filter palettes now this one's called golden hour which is just a really pretty bronzy gold palette and then they have this one which is called rustic antique which is just like burgundies oranges you know about this so i think i'm gonna go for this one i'm gonna go into the orange here Woo! that looks pigmented and i'm just gonna buff that into the crease. Whoa. Having said that though, that is blending out so nicely. Just keep blending. Honestly, just blend until your arm falls off, to be honest. Like, burgundy colour now and put this like in the crease, like below the orange and onto the lid, just kind of like everywhere. They're blending so nicely into each other, too. I never have a bad word to say about the NYX eyeshadows because they're like one of my faves. This palette, though, honestly. So good. I'm gonna go in with this like purpley brown colour and just pack that on the outer corner. All of these eyeshadows are just as pigmented as each other. So good. There is like a teeny teeny bit of fallout with this colour, but put myself in the eye. <laughs> just taking like the same brush that I used in my crease earlier to blend that out. Don't want any harsh lines. I want my inner corner to be like popping. I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm going to mix together the matte white and the shimmery one here and just go ham in that inner corner. Yes. Okay, guys, if there is anything that you can get from this tutorial, you need this palette in your... You need... You need this palette in your life. I'm just going to run some of the orange underneath my eye as a base. I've used this shadow before and I've just seen it and now I really want to use it. This is the Prismatic Eyeshadow in Rose Dust and I kind of want to put this... Just like in the inner third of my lid. Oh my god, like look how nice that is. I hope the camera's picking up. But that's with my brush like not even wet. These prismatic eyeshadows are insane. They're kind of like a forward finish. Love them. 
That is so good. Do you know what? I think I might add a pop of colour on the lower lash line because I've not yet done like a pop of colour. Let's do it. I'm going to take this blue, which... That's blue. It's one of their hot single eyeshadows and it's called Electroshock. Ooh. As per usual, so pigmented. That's so cool. It looks a little bit crazy right now because I've got like no lashes on or anything, but it's cool. I'm not really a colour girl. I was kind of nervous to do it, but I'm glad I did. So I probably will end up putting on lashes because it's me. I really want to test out this mascara. It is the NYX Double Stacked Mascara. So you get the base and the top coat and also little fibres here. I'm going to start off with the base. Whoa, that applies so much product. Now taking the fibres. Oh my god, that's like the weirdest thing. It's like furry. Oh my god, it literally looks like I'm putting fluff on my eyelashes. Do you guys see that? It's made like my lashes white. <laughs> I don't see that much difference with the length. It's separated them out a little bit more. Like, I look like I've got more eyelashes, which is good. I don't hate it, but it's not, like, my favourite, you know? You know? <laughs> I'm going to go off camera and just do the other eye and apply some lashes. And your girl will be back. Okay, so I think we are good to go. If this inner corner would just, like, stick down, you know? By the way, these lashes, because I know I'll probably get questions, are... Backstage lashes in Rodeo Drive. They are one of my faves. Them and Melrose Avenue. <laughs> You need them. I just have lips left, guys. What should I do? I have like every single shade from NYX possible, so options are endless. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna go all out and do a dark lip because I always do a nude. So I'm gonna take the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Vintage. Let's give this a go. That goes on so nicely. For a matte lip liner, I thought it was gonna be quite like you know, rather than, <laughs> but it's lining at them nicely. Oh my God, look at my lips right now. I look like a chala. <laughs> so for the main color, I'm going in with one of the liquid suede's in the color Club Hopper. Oh my God. <laughs> they're so pigmented and really comfortable to wear the only bad thing is they don't dry down completely like the um, lip lingeries do but they're still amazing so that is everything for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and maybe have found some items that you want to have in your makeup collection yourself if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to smash that thumbs up button it just lets me know that you guys enjoy these kind of videos thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video i love you and i will see you all in my next video Mwah.